Um, so this next uh, article is titled Chinese Exclusion Law. This is going to be, John, I don't know if you are familiar <laughs> with this time. We're not in for a good article. <laughs> what is the topic again? Uh, so sorry, what is the caption again above this one? Chinese Exclusion Law. Exclusion Law. Yeah. It's going to be pro. We don't know. <laughs> We don't know. We do it, know. It, David. We it's know. America. Gareth, we were, know. This is Biloxi, Biloxi, this is Biloxi this Mississippi. Is, Give them a This chance. headline could still exist at Biloxi today. I've I have been very to Mississippi. I've enjoyed it. The service was uh, great. I had a great sandwich. The service was yeah. great. Um, uh-huh. I don't, in retrospect, I don't remember seeing a tremendous amount of Chinese, but wow, the food. <laughs> Beautiful rolling <laughs> thunderstorms. <laughs> I really uh, yeah. enjoyed my time there. They the probably heat... had the World's Fair. Yeah, so let's mm-hmm. just, let's not get negative before we know the story. Okay. All okay. right, Chinese. Jump into a little bit of racism. And just for mm-hmm. fun, can we hear that caption one more time, Dave? Chinese exclusion law. Come on, Dave. I mean, Gareth, it could be great. <laughs> get ready for comedy. Yeah. The Chinese Exclusion Act has been declared constitutional by Chief Justice Fuller and two associates of the Supreme Court of the United States. Okay. Okay. Gareth might have been right. (laughs) By the way, can't you just hear that with, like, Alito, Gorsuch, and Kavanaugh? 